Hi good people, Titus here for a quick troubleshooting tips video on editing static meshes in Unreal Engine. In this video I'll show you how to quickly edit complex static mesh colliders into simple box and sphere colliders. Let's jump right into it. Alright so I got a little demo project set up. Um, so you may have noticed if you've created some 3D art and maybe Blender or Maya and you imported it in, um, your character can't move around it too too well. So like uh, for this little teleporter pad, you notice I try to walk over it and I kind of get stuck and I can kind of maybe shimmy around and get on it, but it's kind of hit or miss and it's very kind of random. So what's going on here? Um, well, if we go into the static mesh and open it up here, um, under the show tab at the top, uh, you have an option for simple collision and complex collision. Let's take a look at the simple collision first. So um, Unreal Engine during the import, it generates a collider box based on the geometry. Well, it generates two. It generates the, uh, a complex uh, collider, which is um, this one right here. And you can see that one's very dense and a uh, um, little more accurate. Well, very accurate. Uh, and then it also generates a simple uh, collision box, which is the one you see here. Uh, the problem with the simple one is sometimes the geometry is a little bit off and it can interfere with your character uh, walking up or stepping or interacting with the object correctly. Uh, there's a few ways to tackle this problem. Uh, I'll show you the easiest way. Uh, you can actually go into the collision settings and just remove collision and then go back to collision and add a simple box collision or if the object was spherical, you can add a sphere collider. Uh, for this one, I'll do a simple box. I'll save the settings. And then now I should notice I can run over the object and I don't get stuck. Uh, but let's look at another object. We got this door right here. Uh, this particular door doesn't have uh, a simple collider in it. So as you can notice, I just kind of go right through the mesh. All right, so let's take a look at this one here. So if we go into the SM door, and this is part of the starter content. Um, if I go to show simple collision, you'll notice there's nothing there. So we could of course fix this by just adding a simple uh, box collision. It'll add it there. And if we save it and play, that is one way to fix that problem. But another way you can do it too is we'll come in here, we'll remove the collision, uh, and then if we go to um, show complex collision, you'll notice it actually does have some complex collision. So you can actually come into the collision presets and under the complexity, it's set to project default. Just change that to use complex collision as simple, which in other words, ignore simple and just always use complex. So if we save that, come back to our game, and then we hit play, we should notice that the complex collision will take over and um, get us a little bit more accurate uh, colliders. So what's the downside of using uh, complex over a simple? Well, it, it's more expensive. So your expense is based on your triangle count, so more triangles. Um, then the more geometry it has to do, basically. So looking at the, uh, the teleporter pad, uh, you can see here, this is substantially more expensive to render and uh, do physics based on than this little box collider. So keep that in mind when you're doing your projects, but you know sometimes it's necessary to use the complex one. Uh, as another example, let me modify oops, my starter point here. There we go. And I am actually just going to use control and left and right click, bringing it over. All right, so I got this little uh, demo set up. And let me see if I can maybe switch to my top view. Oops. 
Okay, so I'm in the top view here. You can see I have two quins and two chairs and you can see they're lined up uh, pretty much perfectly. So let me go back to perspective view. What we're gonna do is when the uh, we start the, um, the prototype, these characters are gonna be impacted by gravity and they're gonna fall. They're above the chair, so both of them should land on the chair, but you'll notice uh, the one with simple collision, which is the one on the left, is actually gonna slide off, and the one on the right, which is using complex collision, is gonna land on the chair. So, depending on what you're, you know, trying to do with your projects, you may end up having to use uh, complex collision for some things versus others. Uh, and then looking at the chairs, you can see what's going on here. Is the simple one is just basically kind of angled like that, so you're sliding down it. And the complex one, um, if I hide the uh, the simple, you can see it's much more accurate. But all right, everyone, uh, we'll cut it here to keep the video short. But as always, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing, and see you on the next one.